Welcome to our next example. So our which subnet is host, it should say 172, which I will fix in a moment, dot sixteen dot one hundred dot one two nine slash twenty nine in. Now novice subnetters will be put off by the fact it's a class B address with a more than a class C mask. Don't worry about it. In the exam, all we're concentrating on is the octet that we're subnetting in, which is the last octet. Now, if you were working out design, you would have to start off 172.16.0.0. We don't have time for that in the exam. We just want to find out which subnet this IP address is in. So we've stolen how many bits from the last octet? Well, it's five. If you add um, five to slash 24, you get 29. So we tick down five, and you can see in longhand, if you wanted to write it out, it's dot 248. So if we tick down 5, we tick across 5, giving us our subnet increment, which is 8. Now, in order to get to dot .129, it's going to take ages to count up in increments of 8. So we'll do a little cheat, and we're going to jump up in increments larger than 8, but multiples of 8, if you get what I mean. So we could do 8 to 80 or 8 to 40, because we know if we keep counting up in 8, we will hit that number. And then as we get close to our subnet, then we'll continue counting up in increments of 8. So this is a time-saving element for the exam. Just bear in mind to remember what you're doing. So if you went, for example, from 8 to 40, don't put 80 as the next subnet if you're going past the host, if you get what I mean. So just remember uh, what the technique you're using. So you'd start off 172.16.100.0. Now that isn't the first available subnet, it would, it would be 0, 0.0, .0 but we're not being asked to do any designing here. We've got to quickly find this subnet. So I'll jump up from 8 to 80 because I know if I went up 10 times I would go from 8 to 80. And I'm going to jump up using an increment of 40, which I know is a multiple of 8 also. You can do this in longhand if you want and then come back to doing it the, the quicker way later on. So I've added 40 here to get to 120 and we're getting very close to our actual subnet here. So we probably go up to uh, 128 for our next subnet. And I'm pretty sure that our host is going to be in this subnet actually aren't we? because if we add another 8 to that we're going to get to 136 yeah so just for completeness I'm going to show you the host address numbers you could actually just tick the correct answer in the exam now and then move on to the next question to save time because there's no extra points for working out first host last host your broadcast will be the next subnet minus 1 it's a quicker way to work it out uh, so we've answered the question. Thanks for watching.